बस हमारे साथ सारे फार्मासिस्ट ही हैं जो नहीं 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 इंशाल्लाह जो भी हो सकता है मेरे ख्याल से बस हम दो मिनट और वेट कर लेते हैं लोग ज्वाइन कर लें ताकि आप विदेशन है वो सब सुन लें एंड मैं जहीर भाई का सईद खान साहब का मेलबर्न से जो हमारे साथ अभी ज्वाइन किया है जहीर भाई से मैं पिछले कुछ दिनों से रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा था बारी बारी चुपके चुपके मैसेज करता था कि जहीर भाई जब टाइम हो तो आ जाइएगा जब टाइम हो तो तो आज मैंने देखा कि शायद वो आ सकते हैं तो उन्होंने मौका दिया कि हाँ यस वी कैन डू इट इन इन टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स मैंने कहा हम ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लेंगे यहाँ पर क्योंकि इनशाला देखें जो भी होगी इनशाला हेल्प कर सकते हैं और क्यों नहीं बिल्कुल इन्फॉर्मेशन अगर पहुंचा सकते हैं लोगों के लिए जो पुराने फार्मेसिस्ट हैं और जो भी रेलेवेंट उससे फील्ड से हैं फार्मेसिस्ट से रेलेवेंट हैं इंशाल्लाह जो भी पाथवे बनता है उनके लिए इंफॉर्मेशन देंगे वो जरूर और देखें ना जो तीन एरियाज हैं फार्मेसिस्ट के एक तो कैप्स करके जो फार्मासिस्ट हैं एक मिशन वाले फार्मासिस्ट हैं और एक इंडस्ट्री वाले फार्मासिस्ट हैं तीन मेनली फार्मासिस्ट हैं जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया पिछले साल से आ रहे हैं और बहुत सारे जैसे भी हम पाकिस्तान भी गए थे तो वहाँ पे कॉन्फ्रेंसेस की थी हमने तो वहाँ पे बड़ा सहयोग से और भाई एक बड़ी अच्छी बात है जो कल हुई है मैं आपके नॉलेज में लेकर आऊंगा कि पाकिस्तान में जो एग्जाम सेंटर होता है फार्मेसी एग्जाम कैप्स का उसके जो सेंटर्स हैं वो आहिस्ता आहिस्ता बढ़ते बढ़ते अब कल तीन और खुले तो उसमें अब आठ सेंटर हो गए तो लाहौर में तीन सेंटर इस्लामाबाद में रावलपिंडी में लाके तीन सेंटर कराची में एक और पिशावर में एक तो इज सुपर हेल्प फ्रॉम ए पी सी फ्राम पाकिस्तान हाई कमीशन स्पेशली गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया जो उसमें इनिशियटिव लिया था हमने जनवरी में तो उन सब का जो फ्रूट है वो अब हमें नजर आ रहा है जिसको इस वक्त चार सौ फार्मासिस्ट नवम्बर में इम्तहान दे रहे हैं पाकिस्तान में चार सौ फार्मासिस्ट तो चार सौ फार्मासिस्ट का मतलब ये है जहीर भाई के एक यूनिवर्सिटी जो ऑस्ट्रेलिया में फार्मासिस्ट बैच निकलता है एक ऑस्ट्रेलिया में वो सौ बच्चों का होता है तो अगर चार सौ फार्मासिस्ट बाहर पास होंगे तो समझे चार यूनिवर्सिटी की एक खेप यहाँ पहुंचेगी ठीक है और अभी जुलाई में कोई सिक्सटी सिक्स लोगों ने हमारे साथ इम्तहान पास किया जिनको हम सॉरी फिफ्टी फाइव लोगों ने पास किया और डेढ़ सौ लोगों ने इम्तहान दिया था अभी जुलाई में पाकिस्तान में ठीक है तो ये तो वो फैक्ट्स हैं जो जो आगे वीजे की रिक्वायरमेंट अब सबको वीजे की फिक्र है चलिए कैप्स का मसला हल किया कैप्स दे दिया कैप्स पास हो गए लोगों के उसके बाद अब जब वीजा लेना है तो वो जो वीजे की नंबर ड्रॉप हुए उससे खलबली सी बची हुई है हमारे ग्रोस में भी लोग गुस्सा दिखा रहे हैं कुछ कह रहे हैं कि आप इनकरेज करते हैं कैप्स पे और वीजे तो बंद करा दिए तो मैंने कहा यार वीजे फार्मासिस्ट के तो नहीं बंद करा दिए वो तो ओवरऑल तो वो उस पर हम बात करना चाहेंगे आपसे आप... जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल ये देखे वीजा का जो है अभी ये अभी आ, मैं बोलूंगा कि ये टेम्परेरी तौर पर अभी ऐसा किया है गवर्नमेंट ने मतलब सब लोग अगर म्यूट पे चले जाएं तो अच्छा जही भाई मैं आ, मैं आपको चाहूंगा कि आप थोड़ा सा ना अपना एक फॉर्मल इंट्रोडक्शन कराएं कि आप एडवाइस देने के लिए ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आपकी क्या क्वालिफिकेशन है और क्यों जरूरी है कि, कि वीजा से जो भी बात करें वो रजिस्टर पर्सन हो उसकी सिग्निफिकेंस जरूर से बताएं क्योंकि हम सब ले मैन है सही है फार्मासिस्ट को कुछ नहीं पता होता है कि किस हर एक की बात सुन रहे होते हैं सर आपके आपका माइक म्यूट पे चला गया भाई आपका माइक म्यूट पे तो आ, ये बात जरूर से बताइए कि व्हाट इज योर क्वालिफिकेशन एंड व्हाई यू आर डूइंग आप कोई ये फन के लिए नहीं कर रहे दिस इज योर एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज तो थोड़ा सा बताइए कि आ, क्या जरूरी है क्योंकि माइग्रेशन हर एक का बस का बात नहीं है बा, बातें तो हम कर सकते हैं वहीं से इन्फॉर्मेशन पढ़ के लेकिन एडवाइस सिर्फ रजिस्टर जैसे डॉक्टर होता है हम डॉक्टर के पास ही जाते हैं ना जैसे रजिस्टर डॉक्टर के पास रजिस्टर फार्मासिस्ट के पास दवाई लेने तो आप रजिस्टर एक कंसल्टेंट है माइग्रेशन के बड़े एक्सपीरियंस तो थोड़ा सा बताइए ताकि लोगों को जब आप बात करें तो उनको अंदाजा हो कि हु इज टॉकिंग टू देम प्लीज ओवर टू यू सर जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम सबसे पहले तो तमाम इरफान भाई का बहुत-बहुत शुक्रिया कि उन्होंने मुझे इनवाइट किया आज के सेशन के अंदर 
और इरफान भाई काफी बिजी हैं और इन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छा काम किया इन लास्ट मेनी इयर्स में फार्मेसिस के लिए स्पेशली और मुझे इस दफा थोड़ा चांस मिला कि चले मैं भी आपके लिए कुछ इन्फॉर्मेशन आप लोग को प्रोवाइड कर चूँ मेरा ये कि मैं ओवर थर्टीन ईयर्स से एज ए माइग्रेशन एजेंट काम कर रहा हूँ और आई हैव डन सो मेनी वीजा इन डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज में जो करंटली अभी है इससे पहले जाहिर है हर साल दो मतलब दो तीन सालों में डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज जो होती हैं वो चेंज होती रहती हैं ठीक है ना तो लास्ट कपल ईयर्स में फार्मेसीज बड़े हॉट था और शॉर्टेज भी था और अभी भी स्किल शॉर्टेज है अभी भी रीजनल एरिया में अभी भी बहुत शॉर्टेज है पूरे ऑस्ट्रेलिया के अंदर रीजनल में स्पेशली तो वैसे तो खैर सिटी के इलाके में भी मतलब सिटी में इसमें भी फार्मेसिस की रिक्वायरमेंट है लेकिन ये कि ज़्यादा रीजनल में अभी भी है तो तो मैं ये कि काफ़ी वीजाज जो है स्पेशली फार्मिस के हवाले से मैंने फोर जीरो सेवन वीजाज फोर नाइन्टी वन वन नाइन जीरो वीजा ये पिछले समय लें लास्ट ईयर में मैंने ओवर फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी वीजाज मैंने किए होंगे ऑल टूगेदर इन खाली इस कैटेगरी के अंदर ही तो इसमें फॉर्म भाई का भी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया है कि उन्होंने भी काफ़ी मुझे थोड़ा सा हेल्प की थी और इस हवाले से और और फार्मेसीज भी माशाल्लाह से बहुत अच्छे इंटेलिजेंट हमारे फार्मेसीज ने अराउंड पाकिस्तान से और दुनिया के हर कंट्री से फार्मेसीज इस वक्त बहुत ही ज़्यादा तादाद में स्पेशली लास्ट सिक्स महीने में बहुत ज़्यादा आए तो ये कि अभी भी ये कि फार्मेसीज की डिमांड है ऐसा नहीं है आप लोग डिसहार्ट ना हो जो भी अगर कैप्स करना चाहते हैं तो वो डिसहार्ट ना हो क्योंकि देर इज स्टिल अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मेनी पीपल्स इवन नाउ और इन फ्यूचर एज वेल सो कैप्स में रिकमेंड करूंगा जैसे रिफान भाई भी बड़ा पुश कर रहे हैं क्योंकि केस कैप्स जो है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है इट्स फॉर न्यू स्पेशली फॉर न्यू फार्मेसिस क्योंकि अगर फार्मेसिस नया फार्मेसिस के पास ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है एक आध साल का है तो मैं उसको रिकमेंड करूंगा कैप्स के लिए फोकस करें और फिर जाहिर वो फोर जीरो सेवन अगर इन अगर हो सकता है तो उस पर आए और एक्सपीरियंस लेके और नेक्स्ट पार्ट में मैं फुल रजिस्ट्रेशन करके एज ए फार्मेसिस्ट बन जाए दैट्स द मतलब स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एज ए इंटरनिंग के लिए और फार्मेसिस्ट अगर पाकिस्तान में या कहीं भी दुनिया में फार्मेसिस दुनिया भर में कहीं भी हैं और एक्सपीरियंस ऑलरेडी है फाइव ईयर्स टू एट ईयर्स एग्जाम्पल तो वो भी कैप्स वो भी कर सकते हैं Uh, और मतलब उनके लिए भी मतलब अभी इट्स नॉट टू लेट उनके लिए भी मैं बोलूँगा कोई ऐसा नहीं है कि वो लेट हो गया किसी ने बोला कि नहीं यार बहुत टू लेट हो गया हम ऑलरेडी फार्मेसिस uh, कहीं ओवरसीज में काम कर रहे हैं कैप्स करके हमारा नहीं उनका एक्सपीरियंस काउंट होगा क्योंकि एक्सपीरियंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो आप लोगों ने जैसे अगर फार्मेसिस हैं और एक्सपीरियंस uh, है तो वो भी काउंट होगा और वो भी कैप्स के जरिए आ सकते हैं और दे आर सम अदर कैटेगरीज उसमें इंडस्ट्रियल फार्मेस है आर एन डी है जो कि आप लोग जो लोग इंडस्ट्री में काम कर रहे हैं दे आर थ्री कैटेगरीज रिसर्च रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इंडस्ट्रियल फार्मेसिस और क्वालिटी इश्योरेंस दे आर थ्री कैटेगरीज स्पेशली फॉर फार्मेसिस इन थ्री एरियाज दे कैन कम ऑन दिस कैटेगरीज अगर उनके पास एक्सपीरियंस इंडस्ट्री का है उसके अलावा अगर एज ए फार्मेसिस अगर हैं जैसे फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन हो गए हमारे वो भी आ सकते हैं एक्सपीरियंस अगर फार्मेसिस में अगर जैसे जो लोग कैप्स नहीं करना चाहते मैं उनके लिए बात कर रहा हूँ जो लोग कैप्स नहीं करना चाहते हैं वो इस इंडस्ट्री में हैं जैसे तीन वो ऑक्यूपेशन मैंने अभी पहले आपको बता दी एक फार्मेसी टेक्निकेशन टेक्नीशियन का मैंने बना बताया अभी आपको और तो ये भी एक एक, एक पाथवे है और इसमें आके इन फ्यूचर में भी मतलब जो कैप्स करना चाहता है वो भी कैप्स करके फार्मेसिस भी बन सकता है और जो चाहता है कि इस फील्ड में ही रहना चाहता है उसको वो इस फील्ड में भी रह सकता है उसके लिए कोई ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आने के बाद आप चाहे कोई भी ऑक्यूपेशन में कोई ऐसी कोई कंडीशन नहीं है कि आपको उसी ऑक्यूपेशन में ही काम करना है यू कैन वर्क एनी एनी जॉब दैट्स इम्पोर्टेंट ऑस्ट्रेलिया में अभी तक कोई ऐसा सिस्टम नहीं इन्होंने किया है कि आपको वो बाउंड कर दें कि नहीं यार आप जो जिस ऑक्यूपेशन में आप आए हैं आपको उसी ऑक्यूपेशन में ही काम करना है इरफान भाई ये मेरी वीडियो आ रही है आपको जी जी बिल्कुल आ रही है सर हम बहुत बहुत ही कंसंट्रेशन के साथ सुन रहे हैं आपकी पिक्चर बहुत क्लियर आ रही है आपका मैसेज बहुत क्लियर है दैट्स सो नाइस ऑफ यू सर वी कंटिन्यू मेरे मेरे पास से ये गायब हो गई तो इसलिए मैं समझा कि शायद पत्नी आप लोग को आ रही नहीं है मैं सबसे पूछ लेता हूं प्लीज आंसर इफ एवरीबॉडी इज वाचिंग एंड लिसनिंग जहीर भाई यस बट आर यू क्लियर यस और आप लोग अगर आपको कोई बात अच्छी लगती है जहीज भाई की तो आप उसमें रिएक्शन में भी शो कर सकते हैं कोई साइन शो कर सकते हैं थम्स अप का अगर कोई ऐसा उन्होंने ह्यूमर बात की तो आप जोक का मैसेज दे सकते हैं अगर आपको बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है तो हार्ट का मैसेज दे सकते हैं तो ताकि उनको इंटरेक्टिव सेशन नजर आए आपकी तरफ से ठीक है 
ठीक है प्लीज कंटिन्यू सर जी जिनको भी कोई चीज अगर पूछनी है तो मुझसे पूछ सकते हैं और अगर मैं अभी फॉरन जवाब नहीं दूंगा तो मैं बाद में आप लोग को बता सकता हूँ डिटेल के साथ ठीक है ना अगर जो स्मॉल क्वेश्चन होगा कोई फॉरन जवाब दे सकता हूँ मैं आपको फॉरन बता दूंगा और अगर कोई ऐसा सवाल हुआ कि जिसमें मैं अभी फॉरन आपको नहीं बता रहा मैं आपको बाद में भी बता सकता हूँ जी भाई मैं आप कहूंगा कि हम क्वेश्चन ना एंड में ले लेंगे रेज हैंड करके ना तो आप अपनी बात ठीक कर लीजिए ठीक है ताकि इंटरप्शन ना करें आपके लिए ठीक है अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है सारा मैसेज दे दीजिए जो आप समझते हैं अपडेटेड जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है इनके काम की अच्छा जो कि मैंने अभी थोड़ी देर पहले आप लोग को बताया कि जैसे कि इंडस्ट्रियल फार्मिस के हवाले से जैसे थ्री ऑक्यूपेशन थे इंडस्ट्री के और उसके अलावा दो एज ए फार्मिस और एज फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन तो ऑल टुगेदर हम देखे जाए तो हमारे पास काफी अपॉर्चुनिटी है फार्मेसिस के लिए कि हम इसको फोकस कर सकते हैं मतलब ये सारे मतलब आ सकते हैं कैप्स के, के साथ भी आ सकते हैं और कैप्स के बगैर भी आ सकते हैं तो अभी जो करंट सारी हो जैसे अगर स्किल माइग्रेशन पे कोई आना चाहता है एग्जांपल अगर कैप्स करता है तो उसके बाद दो अपॉर्चुनिटी है खैर वैसे तो उनके बाद तीन विजा कैटेगरी में आ सकते हैं स्ट्रेट फॉर्म एक तो ये कि अगर फोर जीरो सेवन किसी कोई उनको एम्प्लॉयर मिल जाता है तो वो फोर ट्रेनिंग वीजा पे आ सकते हैं जो कि थर्टीन मंथस का वीजा होता है और उसके बाद वो थर्टीन मंथस के अंदर काम करने के दौरान मतलब अगर कैप्स की तैयारी कर सकते हैं और कैप्स का एग्जाम पास कर सकते हैं मतलब कैप्स का नहीं मतलब फार्मेसी का जो सेकंड पार्ट की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ वो कर सकते हैं तो देन दे कैन बिकम अ फुल फार्मेसिस्ट और जारे पे एज ए फार्मेसिस भी काम कर सकते हैं तो ये एक फोर जीरो सेवन हो गया और अगर इसके अलावा किसी ने कैप्स किया हुआ है और एक्सपीरियंस है उसके पॉइंट्स उसके इनफ बनते हैं वो स्टिल कैन अप्लाई फॉर फोर वीजा एंड वन वीजा सो बोथ आर स्टेट स्पॉन्सर वीजा है तो उसके लिए स्टेट से आपको इनविटेशन चाहिए होगा डिपेंड करता है आपके पॉइंट्स कितने पड़ते हैं मतलब होते हैं आपको पॉइंट्स जो हैं यूजुअली आपको पता ही होगा एज के फैक्टर होता है इसमें एज के पॉइंट्स हैं आपकी क्वालिफिकेशन के पॉइंट हैं उसमें आपके इंग्लिश के स्कोर के पॉइंट हैं ये सारे पॉइंट्स अगर होते हैं और मिनिमम भी जैसे सिक्सटी पॉइंट्स अगर अब होते हैं एज ए गुड चेयर वो फोर वीजा और अगर थोड़े से ज्यादा पॉइंट बनते हैं तो देन कुछ वन नाइन जीरो वीजा तो ये दो वीजा कैटेगरी हैं और उसके अलावा एम्प्लॉय स्पॉन्सरशिप में जैसे हैं आप फोर जीरो सेवन फोर नाइनटी फोर वीजा एम्प्लॉय वीजा भी होता है कि उसके अंदर भी आप एलिजिबल हो सकते हैं डिपेंड करता है आपके फोर नाइनटी फोर के अंदर एक गुड थिंग ये है कि वो भी फाइव ईयर्स वीजा है एस ए लीड टू अपन रेजिडेंट वीजा और उसके अंदर आपको मेडिकल मेडिकल वगैरह भी आपको फैसिलिटीज मिलती है और अगर फैमिली है तो उसके जो बच्चे वगैरह हैं वो भी स्कूलिंग वगैरह उसकी फ्री हो सकती है उसमें तो उसके लिए लेकिन जाहिर है आपको फुल असेसमेंट वही कैप्स की असेसमेंट चाहिए होगी और आपको पॉइंट सिस्टम उसके अंदर बिल्कुल नहीं है फोर नाइन फोर के अंदर कोई पॉइंट की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है एज लॉन्ग एज आपका एम्प्लॉय विलिंग टू स्पॉन्सर यू और दिस इज अ रीजनल वीजा फोर नाइन फोर इज अ रीजनल वीजा तो कुछ स्टेट्स ऐसी हैं जैसे साउथ ऑस्ट्रेलिया की बात लेते हैं तो काफी सिटीज एरिया भी रीजनल के उसमें आते हैं तो वो उसके अंदर भी आ, मतलब हो सकता है और इसके अलावा डिपेंड करता है आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया क्वाइट बिग है मेनी स्टेट्स हैं आप किसी भी स्टेट्स में अगर आपके पास एम्प्लॉय है आप कहीं भी जा सकते हैं और उसके बाद लीड टू फोर नाइन फोर की बात कर रहे हैं तो पी तो ये सारी चीजें हैं आ, तो मेरे ख्याल से मैंने काफी इन्फॉर्मेशन तो दे दी है अगर किस कुछ मिस कर दिया और अपने ओन पे जैसे फोर नाइन वन एक वीजा है वन नाइन जीरो है उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा हाईलाइट कर दीजिए प्लीज और उसमें अपडेट जो है वो भी बता दीजिए प्लीज अच्छा देखें अगर कोई इंडिपेंडेंटली आना चाहता और उसको एम्प्लॉय नहीं मिल रहा है सो दे आर टू कैटेगरी फोर नाइनटी वन जो कि एक रीजनल वीजा है उसके ना फाइव ईयर्स का वो भी मल्टीपल वीजा है और आफ्टर थ्री ईयर यू कैन बी एमिन रेजिडेंस और उसके ना कोई ज्यादा कंडीशन नहीं सिर्फ दो कंडीशन है एक आपको उस एज स्टेट्स के अंदर रहना है और थ्री ईयर्स काम करना है ठीक है उसके ना पहले शुरू में काफी कंडीशन थी अब ज्यादा चीजें उसमें दिखानी नहीं है एज लॉन्ग एज आपने तीन साल का टैक्स रिटर्न आपने दिखा देना है तो आप यू लीड टू आर परमानेंट रेजिडेंट और अगर आपके पॉइंट्स इनफ हैं और आपका इनविटेशन 190 में आ जाता है जो कि 190 नाइन जीरो स्टेट नॉमिनेशन वीजा ऑल्सो और इसके अंदर एम्प्लॉय की जरूरत नहीं है 
और आपको डायरेक्ट परमानेंट रेजिडेंस मिल सकता है इवन आपकी फैमिली भी उसमें इंक्लूड हो सकती है अगर फैमिली वाले हैं तो तो उसके अंदर डायरेक्ट पीआर है और वो आप जिस स्टेट में आपको इनवाइट किया यूजुअली आपको उस स्टेट में मिनिमम टू इयर्स रहना होता है ये एक कंडीशन उसके अलावा आपकी कोई खास कंडीशन नहीं है लेकिन सम केसेस में आ, ऐसा भी हुआ है कि फॉर एग्जांपल वर्ड सनारी में आपके पास जॉब नहीं है उस स्टेट में एंड और आप साउथ ऑस्ट्रेलिया में से एग्जाम्पल आए और आपकी जॉब ऑफर हो रही है आपको मेलबर्न के अंदर तो ये कि टेक्निकली आप उनसे बोलेंगे साउथ ऑस्ट्रेलिया से कि भाई मैं मेलबर्न जाना है वो आपको या तो ना करेंगे और ना हा करेंगे इसका मतलब ये है कि आप जा सकते हैं क्योंकि वो आपको बोलेंगे नहीं लेकिन यस आप उनको लिख के देंगे कि भाई मेरे पास जॉब है और यहाँ मुझे मिल नहीं देन आप जा सकते हैं वो आपको फिर बाद में अलाउ कर देते हैं तो ये दो अच्छी कैटेगरीज हैं फोर और वन जिसमें आपको एम्प्लॉयर की जरूरत नहीं होती अच्छा करंट सनारी में काफी लोगों ने बोला कि अभी न्यू जो इनकी जो इनविटेशन राउंड है वो काफी रिड्यूस कर दी जी 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 ठीक है देखें हुआ है लेकिन वो अभी भी फोकस कर रहे हैं जितने भी हेल्थ सेक्टर है एग्रीकल्चर है और हॉस्पिटैलिटी है अभी भी उनके इन्विटेशन अभी भी काफी आ रहे हैं कम्पेयर टू हम कह सकते हैं आई टी एस वेरी हार्ड अकाउंटिंग लेडी विद हार्ड लेकिन अभी भी हेल्थ से सेक्टर से जो फार्मेसिस हैं और मैंने काफी वीजा अभी भी कर रहा हूँ और अभी भी अलहमदुल्ला जल्दी आ रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं है अभी भी आ रहे हैं इन्विटेशन थोड़ा स्लो डाउन हुआ है पिछले लास्ट दो से तीन महीने में कहूंगा काफी स्लो डाउन जरूर हुआ है लेकिन इसका मकसद ये नहीं है कि बंदा गिव अप कर दे कि नहीं अब हमारा नहीं होगा ऐसा नहीं ये थोड़ी टाइम भी इनके लिए हो सकता है ये अपना कोटा बाद में बढ़ा भी देंगे और मुझे लगता है कि इस ये जो हेल्थ से रेलेवेंट जितने भी ऑक्यूपेशन है ये मैं बोलूंगा एन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स अभी भी एन ऑफ द फाइव ईयर्स फॉर द फाइव ईयर्स इनको जरूर चाहिए बंदे स्पेशली वेरी गुड सर बहुत जबरदस्त बात की आपने जो फाइव ईयर्स वाली बात की है क्योंकि बहुत सारे फार्मासिस्ट कन्फ्यूज हो गए हैं जब से ये नई पॉलिसी आई है और खास तौर पर दो पॉइंट्स के ऊपर आके अपनी मायूसी का इजहार करते हैं हमारे ग्रुप पे कल बहुत ज्यादा एक मैं मेंबर ने आके इतनी लंबी कहानी लिख दी कि आपने कैब सेंटर खुलवा दिए इतने सारे लोगों को आपने ये करवाया कि आप अब फीसें कैब्स को जा रही हैं और लोग इम्तहान में फेल हो जाएंगे और वीजा वैसे भी कम हो गए तो ये तो बिजनेस डील हो गई है कैब्स वालों के लिए तो वीजा रिजेक्ट हो रहे हैं उनके ख्याल से और इकोनॉमी हालात पाकिस्तान के इतने खराब है फार्मासिस्टों को उनके ख्याल से वीजा नहीं मिलेंगे तो इस पर थोड़ा सा क्लियरेंस दीजिए प्लीज देखें अगर आप पाकिस्तान की बात करना चाहते हैं तो देखें उसमें जो वीजा रिफ्यूजल है वो उससे फार्मेसिस्ट का कोई ताल्लुक नहीं उसमें जो वीजा रिफ्यूज हो रहे हैं जिस मुझे पता है उसमें टूरिस्ट वीजा काफी रिफ्यूजल आ रहे हैं जो जिसका आपको कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है ठीक है हमारा कोई स्किल स्किल वीजा का चाहे इवन फार्मेसिस्ट ना भी हो कोई भी स्किल वीजा उसका इस वीजा रिफ्यूजल से कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है जो वीजा रिफ्यूजल आ रहे हैं वो ओनली फॉर टूरिस्ट और सम स्टूडेंट वीजा ड्यू टू पाकिस्तान सिचुएशन तो वो उसका भी ताल्लुक हमारे से नहीं है स्टूडेंट वीजा का हमारी कैटेगरी से हमारे उसको कोई लेना देना नहीं है तो आप लोग जरूर से ये बात गौर से समझिए जो जही बात ने क्लेरिफाई कर दी है इस बात को एज ए रजिस्टर्ड माइग्रेंट पर्सन विद 10 ईयर एक्सपीरियंस 13 ईयर एक्सपीरियंस के वो जो कमेंट्स कल चल रहे थे कि वीजा कम हो गए वीजा रिजेक्ट हो रहे हैं तो उससे हमारा कोई लेना देना नहीं है बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपने इस बात को इस फोरम पे आके इतने पचास लोग अभी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं इसके अलावा कोई बीस या तीस लोग हमें यूट्यूब पे लाइव देख रहे हैं तो ये मैसेज बिल्कुल ब्रॉडली आगे दोस्तों को दीजिए कि फार्मासिस्ट के लिए वो जो जो भी बात कहीं हुई है उससे हमारा कोई कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है ना स्टूडेंट ना विजिट वीजा जी प्लीज बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैं इसलिए देखें आप लोग को दोबारा बोलूंगा आप डिसहार्ट ना हो जो लोग कैप्स की तैयारी कर रहे हैं या कर चुके हैं और कली वो ये इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन जब भी हमारे कंट्री में आती है वो सिर्फ ओनली ट्रेवल करती है सिर्फ टूरिस्ट वीजाओं के लिए और स्टूडेंट वीजा के लिए स्किल माइग्रेशन से इसका कोई ताल्लुक कभी भी नहीं रहा है क्योंकि मैं ये काम बहुत अच्छे से कर रहा हूँ और ये अप एंड डाउन आते रहते हैं और अनलेस की स्किल माइग्रेशन ऑस्ट्रेलिया अगर कोई करता है कि भाई फर्स्ट एग्जांपल दे रहा हूँ कि वो कहता है भाई स्लो डाउन हो गया बंद कर देता है ऐसा जो कि अभी कभी भी नहीं हुआ बंद कभी भी नहीं किए एक्सेप्ट कोविड में हुआ था वो भी स्लो डाउन हो गए थे कोविड के अंदर काफी हद तक और लेकिन ये कि इसका 
हमारी इकोनॉमी से स्किल्ड माइग्रेशन वीजा का या फार्मिस कोई ताल्लुक नहीं तो मैं जो लोग भी अभी तैयारी कर रहे हैं कर चुके हैं प्लीज आप करते रहें कंटिन्यू करें और डिसहार्ट ना हो इनशाला अल्लाह जरूर करेगा आप लोग का जो भी आप लोग का माइंड है अल्लाह आपके लिए हेल्प करेगा इनशाला जरूर और लेकिन वो जाहिर आपको पता ही है इट्स बेस्ड ऑन आप आपकी पॉइंट सिस्टम और ये सारी चीजें आपको करनी है अगर आप सोचेंगे कैप्स पास के लिए तो इसका मतलब आपको पी आई मिल जाए वो भी नहीं है जाहिर आपको उसके लिए थोड़ी मेहनत करना पड़ेगी उसमें सारे फैक्टर उसमें एज फैक्टर है आपकी इंग्लिश है एक्सपीरियंस है ये सारे फैक्टर अलग अपनी जगह पर मौजूद है जी बहुत बहुत ही आपने वैल्यू गोल्ड वाली बातें की हैं इस वक्त और इससे मेरे ख्याल से जो हमारे सुनने वाले हैं उनको जो उनका जब कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल है वो बहुत ज्यादा बहाल हो गया है और अब वो कहीं भी किसी भी फोरम पे होंगे अब वो कहीं मिस गाइड नहीं होंगे इस बात से कि कहीं वीजा नंबर्स ड्रॉप हो गए या वीजा रिजेक्शन बड़े आ रहे हैं तो उस वो जहां भी बात होगी ना तो आप ये समझ ले फार्मास की बात नहीं हो रही है जो कि इस पाथवे से स्किल पाथवे से आ रहे हैं तो ये बड़ी अच्छी बात हुई है तो जैसे भाई मैं मेरे पास कुछ एक दो सवाल आते हैं जब मैं आपसे क्विकली क्विकली बस पूछूंगा आप उनके कोई आंसर दे सकते हैं मोस्ट मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल गोल्ड होगा उनके लिए एक एक सवाल है कि आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन विद अ गेस्ट दैट डोंट हैव एनी जॉब एक्सपीरियंस अभी कोई जॉब एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है कैप्स पास करते हैं वन अप्लाई करते हैं तो फैमिली के साथ मिनिमम स्कोर क्या होना चाहिए ये सवाल है उनका देखें मिनिमम स्कोर आपको पता है ऑस्ट्रेलिया में स्किल माइग्रेशन का जो बेंच मार्क है वो मिनिमम 65 तो है तो मिनिमम आपको हर सूरत में चाहिए चाहिए अब उसके अंदर आपकी एज फैक्टर है अब आपकी एज अगर फर्स्ट क्लास थर्टी के थर्टी थ्री के अंडर है तो आपको थर्टी पॉइंट मिल जाएंगे अगर किसी की एज बिटवीन थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी नाइन है तो उसके ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट उसको मिलेंगे ठीक है ना तो ये पॉइंट्स हैं फिर एक्सपीरियंस पे चलो ठीक है आप माइनस भी हम कर देते हैं आपकी क्वालिफिकेशन के 15 पॉइंट्स तो से एग्जांपल किसी की 30 एज है और क्वालिफिकेशन uh, की बैचलर्स है तो 45 पॉइंट्स उनके ऐसे ही बन जाते हैं प्लस uh, अगर आइल्स में अगर सेम बैन इन ईच कम्पोनेंट लेकर आते हैं तो आपके कितने बन गए अपना फोर्टी फाइव एन ये फिफ्टी हो गए ठीक है इसमें अभी तक एक्सपीरियंस मैंने अभी तक नहीं देखा है और से अगर मैरिड पर्सन है उनकी वाइफ खाली इंग्लिश में ही सिक्स नीच लेके आ जाती तो फाइव पॉइंट वो भी हेल्प कर सकती है तो ये आपसे हो गए ये सवाल बड़ा पूछा जाता है कि स्पाउस की क्या इंग्लिश की रिक्वायरमेंट है तो आपने बड़ी अच्छी बात बता दी सब सुन ले भाई सिक्स पॉइंट होना चाहिए सिक्स पॉइंट ईच अगर आपकी वाइफ ले आती तो वो आपको हेल्प कर सकती है एक्स्ट्रा फाइव पॉइंट में और अगर उनके पास भी असेसमेंट हो कर हो जाए तो एक्स्ट्रा फाइव पॉइंट और आपको मिल सकता है देन टेन पॉइंट भी आप क्लेम कर सकते हैं वाइफ की तरफ से लेकिन वो जरूरी नहीं है ना वो वो जरूरी नहीं है वो जरूरी है वो आपके लिए हेल्प करती है अगर आपके पॉइंट कम है तो तो मिनिमम मतलब ये मैंने बताया कि अगर आपने हो जाते हैं यूजुअली जैसे 491 में अगर किसी के पास एक्सपीरियंस नहीं भी है तो वो 65 हो जाते हैं उसके क्योंकि स्टेट की तरफ से 15 पॉइंट्स मिलते हैं ठीक है बहुत अच्छी बात है तो लेकिन एक ड्रॉबैक है कुछ स्टेट की रिक्वायरमेंट ये होती है की मिनिमम एक्सपीरियंस ट्वेल्व मंथ का रिक्वायर्ड होता है लेकिन कुछ स्टेट ऐसी भी है जो विदाउट एक्सपीरियंस के भी इन्विटेशन इशू हो जाता है ठीक है ना कौन सी स्टेट है सर वो भी बता दीजिए अगर आपके जहन में है भी वो उसमें आजकल काफी पॉपुलर है वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया आजकल बहुत उसमें आ रहा है ठीक है ना वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया है नंबर वन और एक आध दो स्टेट भी हैं लेकिन ये कि यूजुअली फॉर मंथ अगर एक्सपीरियंस हो तो बेस्ट है मतलब लेकिन ये ना ये जो जो आपने छोटी सी बात बताई है ना कि वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेलकम कर रही है नो एक्सपीरियंस ये के लिए बड़ा गोल्ड मैसेज है जो अभी फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट बाहर आए जो अभी एक साल के अंदर अंदर बाहर आए जिन्होंने भी एक्सपीरियंस पूरा साल भर का नहीं लिया है और कैब्स करके पास हो गए तो ये उनके लिए तो बड़ा ही एक सुनहरी मैसेज आपने दिया है और ये अथेंटिसिटी बताती है ये कि वेस्टर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेलकम करिए और दूसरी स्टेट अगर आपके जहन में आ रहा है तो बता दीजिए वरना बाद में बता दीजिएगा हम हम मैसेज बहुत बहुत खूबसूरत बात और एक एक सवाल है हमारे ग्रुप में बहुत अमीर मेरे ख्याल से मेम्बर है वो पूछ रहे हैं कि मैं कितना बैंक शो बैंक बैलेंस शो करूँ जब मैं वीजा लॉन्च करूँ फोर या वन इस पर कुछ बताएंगे आप अच्छा देखें बैंक की कोई रिक्वायरमेंट ऐसी सच ऐसी नहीं है आ, उसके अंदर क्या आपको कोई हंड्रेड थाउजेंड या जो शो करें नहीं इसमें बैंक स्टेटमेंट की कोई रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है एक जमाने में बैंक स्टेटमेंट की बहुत ज्यादा रिक्वायरमेंट हुआ था फाइव पॉइंट भी मिला करते थे 
अच्छा तो अभी अभी आप बगैर बैंक स्टेटमेंट के काम चला सकते हैं अपने वीजे को फोन फोर नाइन वन और वन नाइन जीरो को कर बिल्कुल बिल्कुल जबरदस्त वेरी गुड सर ये छोटे छोटे देखें इनके हमारे फार्मासिस्ट दोस्तों के कुछ सवाल थे गुड मॉर्निंग आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज यू शेयर ओ माई गॉड चले हम थोड़ी सी इंग्लिश में ज्यादा बात करेंगे क्योंकि हमारे साथ नॉन इंग्लिश नॉन उर्दू लोग भी हैं इसमें ग्रुप के अंदर थैंक यू फॉर रिमाइंडिंग दैट वट इज फॉर्म एटी एंड वट कंपल्सरी Is it compulsory for four nine one or one nine zero? This is a question that someone asked. Do you want to tell us about it? Form eighty is a very important uh, form for personal uh, information for for any any person who who is coming for migration to Australia. Usually, is required for all permanent visa, especially four ninety one and one nine zero one eight nine visa. Okay, uh, form eighty is required all your information. uh your family whole your family information your parents your brother sister information your whole travel history information in the past any refusal in the past for any country you have to provide all the information it is like a book which is i you have to produce uh, in a uh, manner genuinely manner so you can't hide information if you hide something in form 86 example and if they picked up in even you got permanent residence say example and if you hide some very bad uh, something and then they picked up in in future even you come to australia your visa can be denied so form 80 is is very very important you have to give honest answer in form 80 that's very important thank you honest uh, answer you. honest answer thank you zai bhai uh, ek sawal hai ki which state territory is good for industrial pharmacist आपका क्या एक्सपीरियंस है? इंडस्ट्रियल फार्मासिस्ट if that uh, occupation is removed from the state as then you can't so until you get your invitation from the state then you can apply from that state so if i say today is a south australia is good say example yes and yes. and, this, and yes. you you are on the way you apply for eoi and it's still waiting for invitation somehow next week if it's removed then we can't do anything so and I, but, but then is available in the some other state say in victoria or maybe queensland so i can't give you this answer because it right now, okay. for country. it's going to change so you, it can, change for country okay but That's yes fine. but but they there are some uh, state uh, they are available but it's it, but i can't give it because it's a, it's a typical answer if i say something yes this is uh, the state is good and yep. somehow it is removed it's not valid yes you, you you will say oh i told you uh, that it was yes. an बाय beta assess yes beta assess is it's not a simple assessing bodies you have to follow all the requirements especially work experience requirement yes. and the format they require and uh, the good thing is i'll probably say to you you guys probably some people don't know you see you required a verified uh, degree from hec which is removed by uh, the beta assess remove on 8th of august no no longer required uh verified from hc from 8th of august for pakistan so which is good so so industrial pharmacy you required uh number one uh, assessment uh from vet assess and then once you have a positive assessment then you can move on further so the okay. uh, how much time vet assess taking at this moment for assessment for okay. such vet assess uh, cases like but, industry or uh, technician vet us vet assess at the moment currently taking between 3 to 4 months average time oh, for wow. normal process normal process okay. which is okay. $982 but if you pay extra $623 it can be done in 2 weeks time 
आपने पहले बात कर ली उस पर एलिजिबल एंड क्राइटेरिया देखिए इसमें तो आप पहले बता भी चुके हैं कि ये तो इम्प्लॉयर स्पॉन्सर्ड वीजा है ना फोर नाइन फोर इज राइट और बहुत सारे लोग तारीफ कर रहे हैं कि वी आर रिलीफ वी आर रिलीफ वी आर रिलीफ बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू जस्ट प्रोवाइडेड वी आर रिलीफ थैंक यू फॉर अरेंजिंग दिस सेशन अमेजिंग फॉर फैमिली फोर नाइन वन एंड वन नाइन जीरो वीज आ कैन डिपेंडेंट नीड टू अटेम पी टी ई हाउ मच स्कोर इज रिक्वायर आपने पहले बता दिया यस अगर वो करना चाहे एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट के लिए तो कर लें और सिक्सटी उसका रिक्वायरमेंट है तो आपने पहले इसको बता दिया थैंक यू वेरी मच लेकिन मैं एक चीज बता दूँ उसके लिए क्लियर कर दूँ फोर फोर नाइन वन एंड वन नाइन normal uh, without for point not for point purpose for normally it's required for dependent spouse 49 sorry 4.5 uh, functional language requirement okay. if 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 they don't have ielts or pt it can be waived through their degree if they have a degree master degree or bachelor it can be waived thank you uh, thank you very much ek sawal hai jo ke एक बड़ा उन्होंने सवाल किया कि व्हाट आर द चांसेस फॉर न्यू फार्मासिस्ट और न्यू फ्रेश फार्मासिस्ट टू पास द कैप्स देखें वो तो अपने बंदे की ऊपर <laughs> है कि वो पढ़ाई पे डिपेंड करेगा और कैसे पास करा कितनी नीड है कितनी उसकी वो है चाहत है ऑस्ट्रेलिया आने की बिल्कुल वो तो देखें हमारे साथ तो वो तो उसके ऊपर है वो कितना घी डालते हैं और उसमें मेहनत करते हैं अब वो अगर कैप्स पास कर लेते हैं तो इंशाल्लाह देखें वो तो नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस तो फिर वो कर सकते हैं ना कैप्स तो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है फ्रेश वाला बंदा है तो ज़ाहिर उसके लिए एक्सपीरियंस है नहीं लेकिन जहीर भाई का जो काम है वो तो कैप्स के बाद शुरू होता है कैप्स से पहले जो है वो आप खुद ही करेंगे कैप्स के लिए मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता ओके दिस वेरी नाइस तो कैप्स के लिए हमने बहुत सारे मोटिवेशनल टॉपिक्स शेयर किए हैं टॉक्स की हुई हैं तो उसको फॉलो करेंगे तो आपका पास हो जाएगा आप हमारे ग्रुप में तो इन बाकी जैसे जुलाई में साठ लोगों ने अटेंड किया पचपन खड़क से पास हो गए आप भी पास कर लेंगे अगला सवाल है सर कैन यू प्लीज अगेन शेयर दी मेन पॉइंट डिस्कसिंग एज वी जॉइन सेशन लेटली लेकिन मेरे हाथ से हमने अभी बीच में मेरे हाथ काफी देर का मैसेज है ओके एज बैरियर फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग फार्मासिस्ट इमिग्रेशन टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया प्लीज डिस्क्राइब इन इंग्लिश सो एज लिमिट दे आस मतलब एज लिमिट फिफ्टीन 50 plus there's no requirement on that visa but okay skill migration under 44 so so you're saying that anyone who's applying for 407 or 494 employee nomination visa they can be uh, eligible to come on age above 44 like no above 44. no no not not for no, not 494 494 is you must be under 44 okay you can be up to 50 they can waive mm-hmm. you you can be up to 50 but mm-hmm. but depend it can be some some state can waive uh age as well but basically i mean you have to be 44 that's that's what the point visa i'm talking about the point visa only so you're talking about the point visa or you're talking about the employer visa i'm just talking about the age what is the pathway for such person who is 50 and is still thinking that he want to come to australia on pharmacist uh, caps see caps you, there's there's no limit of age for the caps Yes, I know that. Yes, I'm, I'm just if if you if you want to do just a cap, there is no age limit for the okay. caps exam. Caps yes. exam nothing to do with uh, immigration. Immigration comes after. Yep. When you when you decide which visa you want to consider for the visa, either you want to 491, 190, 494, they're all different kind of visas. So every kind of visa, all these categories, they all have their own different different age age limit. 
So point per cell, as I explained to you before, if you are under 26, you get maximum 30 point, uh, sorry, uh, if you are more than 26 to 26 to 30, 33, you can get 30 point. 33 okay. to 39, you get 25 point. Okay. 39 to 44, you get 15 points. And then after 44.0, Okay. Oh, it's I, Thank you. I hope Lynette, uh, who asked this question specifically in English, she got an answer. Okay. Next question is, uh, say, other points of rising points, uh, any courses? Uh, Nadia, I'm not getting your point. I'm not getting your question. question Please specify the, your question to pharmacy profession, not, not other profession. Okay. What are the options for pharmacy technician for visa after getting assessment from Vitasis? Which states are best? to get sponsorship visa, a state sponsorship visa for pharmacy technician. Which sort of experience you can share with us? Pharmacy technician is, uh, it's, it's, it's short to say, say it's number of state. Uh, currently, uh, in South Australia, and uh, there are few states, I, I haven't checked it yet, recently, last few days, actually, because mm -hmm. it's, uh, and, but it's, it's, it's available for two or three states in Australia. Okay, thank you. Uh, again, uh, Saval, for no experience, zero experience for CAPS passing offshore. So you already explained that you pushed in which, which is best state for offshore with zero experience. You have already told me that Western Australia. So Western Australia and yes, Queensland. Okay. Okay. Yes, Leonard, we will try to speak in English. I know that uh, there are a few. Yes, yeah, sorry, Leonard. Yes, uh, uh -huh. you can ask me anything. I can, I'm happy to answer you. No, no, we are we keeping in English now. Um, do we require any experience for Visa 491? Okay. Same again, same again. It, it's point-tested visa. Yes. Same again, point-tested visa depend of your age, qualification, experience, English points, and it depends. And if it's no experience, if it's less than 12 months experience, okay. and if, as I said, Western Australia is a good state at the moment. Okay. okay, our friend, uh, I think she passed the CAPS exam and she's asking a question that what would be the visa status of spouse in case of subclass 190 and 491? So what is the status for the spouse? She will be main applicant, but the spouse ka, uh, status push. Oh, uh, once you grant, uh, if, if, if you apply as a family visa with husband, wife and kid, uh, status once you grant the visa, either 491 or 190 visa, you will they all everyone get the same visa visa subclass and they they have same visa for both of them. They have uh, multiple visas, five years, multiple say 190 is multiple five years, multiple visa, and uh, the requirement are the same, pretty okay, much same. Pretty good. Hopefully, I mean, you got the answer. Okay, experience assessment required from professional body like pharmacy or pharmacy council and not required for fulfilling state nomination requirement like ACT in Western Australia need one year exp one year offshore experience to be eligible for the nomination. Is this like a question or a comment, I think? Okay. Um, I can't get point. Uh, go to the next question. We go to the next question. This looks like a comment to me. This change will affect visa ratio of pharmacy technician. The question is that will this change in affect the visa stay ratios for pharmacy technician? Um, overall, yeah. It will be changed little, little for a while. I'll probably say yes, if, if they reduce the number of uh, invitation for all round visas, it might be a little bit changed, but not much change uh, as, as I explained to you before, uh, there's still shortage of pharmacies and health worker in regional yes. area. But at the time being, yes, maybe a little bit effect because of the uh, uh, less quota maybe, I probably say, but but it's going to be ongoing and it's going to be, I mean, uh, it's going to be shortage. It's not going to be filled quickly. It's going to yeah. take a few years. And then you have already explained very nicely in the yes. start of the yeah. session yeah. That, yeah. that this is related to, we are talking about pharmacists. So that will not affect as compared to other profession you already highlighted. So if you have missed this session from the start, recording will be there on YouTube. You can watch it again. All right. So thank you. Uh, I'll go for the next question. Uh, can a fresh marriage can apply visa? 
with the spouse. Yes, can apply, can apply. Yes, as long as you are legally married and you have marriage certificate, yes, you can apply. I mean, you can, you can include your spouse. That's good. Kindly tell me if pharmaceutical regulatory job experience is valid for industrial pharmacists or not? Um, as I explained to you before, I mean, industrial pharmacists, pharmacists uh, you need to get positive assessment from that assess and they will, they will assess your experience. I mean, accordingly, you have to provide your experience accordingly, the requirement of industrial pharmacies, or if you are a different occupation, R&D or quality show. There are three occupations similar. You can, uh, you can choose. And if you have most relevant experience in any of the field, then you can choose for the assessment. Okay, thank you. Uh, a question is asked, if we have two years experience, although we can't get points of it, should we show it or we hide it? No, it's always good to show it because, uh, well, it's it, very good. Yeah. It's you're good to show it. I mean, you don't have to hide. I mean, if you have experience in the field, of, well, best to show it. I mean, why you have to hide for that one? Because if you say, example, if you're going to apply for industrial pharmacy, of course, you need a 12 months experience anyway. So once you have 12 months experience, of course, you can get a positive assessment. If you hide that, how are you going to get the better assess assessment? Okay. A comment here. There's a comment for you, Zaybai, uh, saying that your efforts, like my efforts, inviting you as a guest is truly commendable. It's not only addresses all of our all our uncertainties, but also make us feel valued. A heartful thank you to you thank and you, sir, as thank well, you. Uh, being thank a guest you. and being on board and your endeavors are greatly appreciated. Amazing. Thank you. And, thank uh, you. And uh, Samin is again asking, how many points shall we process minimum before additional state nomination point, for instance, five points case of 190 or 15 points for 491 visa? She's asking I mean, about... Hmm. Uh, asking about for 491 or right. 190? Both. She's asking that five points, can she claim for 190 yep. or can she claim 15 points for 491 uh, in that state nomination process? I think. Yes, is yes. I mean, of course, I mean, if, if you can achieve, say, 65 points without state nomination for 491, say, example, if you can achieve your point 65 before state nomination, of course, your point will be extra 15. So your point will be nearly uh, 80 and same again if you already achieved 60 points and and you get five point extra from the state there will be 70 i mean more, more point is always valuable of course if you have a more point is the more chances you you're, you will get invitation quicker as i said i mean 65 is pretty good for pharmacy technicians and pharmacists i mean it's good it's okay but i'm saying if you get more point is better that's very good. Thank you. Uh, the, and then again, one a beautiful message uh, from a, one of our friend. Uh, she's saying that so grateful to be part of your community, sir. You, sir, can you guide? Can you guide? Can you kindly guide about the process for apply for one nine zero for onshore? Onshore. She is in Australia, I guess. An immigration agent has misguided her a lot. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh... <laughs> That's very common, actually. You are, I've got so many clients, even onshore. I've done a lot of onshore visa as well. Um, if you are onshore and uh, depend of your visa category, I don't know at the moment. So you can apply for, I mean, as long as you have caps. If you have a caps, it's still available. You still can apply for one nine zero four ninety one. If you if you're looking for the point tested visa, I mean, depend on the point test. I don't know how many points you have at the moment. So yes, you have to go through your points, and you still can apply for these two visa. Or unless if you are working for some employer see, uh, already, then you can apply for four ninety four. If you are in a regional area. There are two, three options available for you. I mean, I'm doing a lot of uh, onshore visa at the moment and from different states, Queensland, uh, especially I'm doing a lot of Queenslander uh, visas. They are onshore at the moment and a lot of in uh, Western Australia as well. So yeah, I mean, you can apply for onshore visa as well for 190 or 491. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a question uh, asking that, please ask with a guest that what are the chances for visa? 
as a pharmacy technician, after getting positive assessment from Bitasis, what states best for pharmacy technician? I think you already explained that. Yeah, I already changed. explained before. Yes, I mean, as, as I said before, say again, uh, I mean, first of all, we need to know how many points you will achieve. As I said in the past, if you get over 65, it's always a good chance. I mean, you can get in, invited by state. Okay. Okay, uh, there is one question which probably I don't know. HEC, which is I think a uh, assistant assistation body or attestation yes, body yes. in Pakistan, and I don't know what is MOFA. Recognized degrees are required at any point for visa. M, what is it? MOFA. I don't know what does it mean, but uh, her point is that attestation is required for visa process for the doctor. Uh, no. Um, well. Nowadays, uh, even Department of Immigration, they require highly quali uh, quality scanned document, document yeah. are acceptable. Yeah. You don't need to attest your documentation for oh, wow. visa purpose. Oh, amazing. As, as long That's as you equation. have quality scanned document, acceptable. Color no scan, need, quality no scan. Verify, no, no need to verify. Unless yeah. if they have doubt, for example, and they think all oh, this is bogus document or something like that. Yes, they may be uh, asked for verification. But but for immigration point of view or any visa application, you need only scan documents only. That's so important information, uh, Zaibai. This is something which uh, which is very valuable for some people who are wasting time for sending their document to attestation bodies and spending money is amazing news. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming on board and telling this so openly to these pharmacists. Uh, I have a quick question. I have a few questions left. It is necessary sure. to register with APRA using provisional pharmacist registration after passing CAPS. Is it necessary? I would say yes, damn, yes. Uh, can we apply? Can we apply after arriving in Australia by submitting an expression of interest? A O I, A O I. Uh, how this person will e come? E O I, E O I, sorry, E O I, E O I. Express of interest. Yes. You can apply even before you coming to Australia, as long as you have enough points, or you can do it after when you come to Australia. It's up to you. It's but Zayfai, how, how this person will come to Australia before he got a visa? Because E O I is a process of the visa. Maybe, I maybe if he comes on four zero seven visa or other visas. Okay. Say example, if the person already got sponsor no, and he's coming on, uh, say, other visa, and then he can, he want to apply for EOI while he in Australia. Say, oh, show the example. Okay. But yes, of course. I mean, you, you, EOI has to be done if he hasn't arrived in Australia and he want to come to Australia for like a skilled migration. EOI is the first step after the assessment and minimum IELTS score okay, of six you. in each which is uh, zero point, but seven in each component is it's a 10 points or PT is 65 in each component for okay. 10 points. Thank you. Um, Zaybay, there's a question for testing of your knowledge. Sir, how long will it take to grade or grant the visa after passing caps? Well, passing caps is nothing to do uh, visa. I mean, you have to apply for, for, for I mean, this is a, CAPS is the one pathway you just pass the exam and then uh, then you got the assessment. There are number of steps after that. There's a EUI, then state nomination application, one, and then visa application. So once you apply for EUI, and then you will receive an invitation, for example, from the state. Uh, there are some state, then well, then you have to apply for ROI uh, for register of interest or Another there's another pathway, or some state sends you invitation and then ask you to apply for nomination as well. And once you are fully invited by a state, then you can apply for visa. I think Zeba he's maybe asking that once we apply the visa and how much it will take in and waiting time. This is what maybe okay. he's asking. So, all right, okay. Just, okay. just give me a, I know that on <laughs> on website is written thirty six months, but in your experience, if you can give some. Um, some Months and figures okay. years. If if you are talking about just the farm, because there's all depend of your occupation as well, and sometimes I'll probably say depend of the country as well. In this scenario, I'll probably say, I mean, 
they don't discriminate. The immigration doesn't discriminate, uh, but I say sometimes it's a factor of your passport as well for visa uh, time, time, time. I mean, not not to refuse or anything like that, but it's a time. Yes, I probably say after once you lodge your application and if you submitted all your document properly and everything, if you done your medical, if you provide all the document, I probably say three to six months will take after that. That's normally it will take. I have so many applications, they come up within a two, three weeks after, uh, once everything done, medical and everything done, got it within a four weeks time. But as I said, maybe after lodging application can take up to six months and worse than all you can take up to 12 months. Okay, that's very good. A uh, question is asked by someone not showing their name. If anyone have a visa rejection from any other country, is that a, any hindrance in applying 190? No, I mean, as long as I said in the past, uh, Form 80 is very important and you have to answer honest uh, answer. If you refuse for any country, any visa, you just answer uh, positively and it doesn't affect you Australian visa. Yes, if, if you apply for tourist visa, say example, and you, you was tourist visa refused for another country, it might affect you. But any other skill visa doesn't affect even you refuse for any country, even for 10 countries, it, I don't think there's any problem because you're coming on a skill visa or employer visa. Okay. Um, India, there's a friend from India, Mr. Sundarpal is saying, thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you very much for your time, sir. He's very, very happy to listen to you. Uh, a person is asking a very uh, simple question, which probably everyone know. Uh, how many years the IELTS score is valid for? So is it two years? Okay, IELTS, it's, uh, no, it's for three, years, actually. It says, oh, it say, uh, yes, it says on the uh, certificate, it's two years, for, but okay. emig immigration point of view, it's valid for three years. Oh my God, okay. What about PTE, sir, then? Same, same, three years. Immigration purpose, all the IELTS uh, PTE is valid for three years. Even it says two years. Even it says two years for migration, only oh for migration God. purpose. Oh my God, what a valuable information we're getting here today. Oh my God, I was not aware about it. Oh my God. Yes, Thank it's God. valid for migration purpose, three yeah. years. Okay, one friend, he's ex ex sharing his friend's story saying that one of my friend visa 190 got rejected due to the points they didn't get right of renewal, any possibility to, to go for review. Uh, uh, Satar, I want to know, is that a pharmacist or is this a non-pharmacist? Please keep limit this session to pharmacist. Don't bring any other profession because uh, if that person is rejected and if he was not a pharmacist, there's no point of discussing that scenario here. But uh, sir, Zahir, would you like to sir, say- Thank anything? you. Uh, thank you for, for asking the question from the migration agent. Thanks to him as well. He's pharmacist. He applied, he got invitation while he was in Dubai. He passed CAPS. He he got uh, invitation. He applied for 190. Yes. The reason today they have given is that the your points you have claimed while submitting your EOI was yes. 75. But yes. while launching your application for visa, you have provided the evidence for 70 points. Uh, hereby, they have rejected the visa and they did not okay. give the right of review. So okay. can we go for review by any chance? Okay. Okay, over to you, Zaybai. This is the pharmacist case. Okay, okay. If he claims, say, example, uh, extra point, say, example, if probably was eligible for maybe 60, I'm just saying example, and if he claimed 60 point, of course, his visa get refused, okay? Because uh, the invitation time, you claim it, uh, 70, and might be when immigration department check. It was 65. We may claim for some extra five points for something. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't have different. He, it's uh, if if he apply for offshore visa, usually you cannot apply for a review uh, because you are offshore and you don't have unless unless if he applied to a state nomination, he can only ask a state if they can. Uh, ask for review on behalf of him, but then he has to seek a state permission to, the state has to apply. He can't apply himself directly. Yes, sir. He is in Dubai currently, uh, hmm. but in, in the rejection letter, letter, they have said that you have no rights to review. Hmm. Yes, so, he can't. He can't. 
kind of you can't directly apply on the state if he is state as i said if he's sponsored by state and states willing to to review it, they can but then usually state doesn't do it yeah he was sponsored by state okay thank you very much sir no worries no worries so zahir bhai is that any option for that person can he apply for yes new he visa? can well what he can do he can reload his ui again okay. and make okay. sure he 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 get, he get correct points but yes. probably he claimed last time maybe extra points sometimes people don't understand they think they can claim whatever the points you know they don't uh, no because the thing is easy sometimes so they can claim uh, he can do it again he put a new eoi with the correct uh, point and then if he get invited he can apply for it okay. and 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 sir satar i want to know that that person or that friend of yours who was doing this was he doing this on his own knowledge or was he involved with a consultant that's one question i need to ask please no sir he was doing by his own like he was guided by us all together mm -hmm. but he i'm sure he did not claim his 75 point uh, purposely and he was very honest i mean this was done by mistake i'm sure he is when when he was some mistake he have done i'm not sure maybe he was turned 40 at the time of application but at the time of eui he was below 40 Oh, or, yeah. I'm not sure that maybe he claims some experience points less, mm -hmm. but there's some okay. mistake he has done, but he did not realize what he has done. Yes. Okay. Yes. Another point, I don't have any uh, commission-based thing with the e-bike, uh, okay? But Fine. I would recommend that uh, okay. use some expert person when some delegacy is there in your cases. So use uh I mean you can take Zahir by contact number and, and maybe he can help you. All right, he's based in yes, Melbourne. Sir. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll talk. I'll text you on WhatsApp. I'll just get uh, Zahir by in your number. I'll put him yes. in contact with yes. him. Let me yes. can help. And and uh, Zahir, by uh, I want to say a disclosure statement from you as well because you you know me from last many years yes. and how many yes. companies. Everybody trust you. I mean, you don't need to get that disclosure. Come and see. We all trust you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, we. <laughs> That's good. So many pharmacy owners in Australia know Zahir Bhai for his work because of his uh, quick response for their visa requirement, especially the pharmacist companies everywhere like uh, Western Australia, South Australia, New South Wales, Canberra, Victoria. Uh, so uh, he knows the pharmacist profession very deeply and also medical doctors as well. Yes, I'm. I'm uh, at the moment. I'm one of the uh, representative or one of the pharmacy. Uh, from I probably know that uh, Star Pharmacy. Oh yes, it's uh, there's one of uh, quite big pharmacy in Australia. Yes. I think they have about 80, 80 store in Australia. Yes, yes, so yes. So they, I'm, I'm dealing with them, and uh, they, they're pretty happy with me, and so I'm dealing there yes. most of cases at the moment. It's a big company in Australia, and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Zahir Bhai is an advisor for that company. So no need for introduction. And Zahir Bhai don't give me any commission. So for no, I don't. Me, <laughs> once in a while, maybe I met him once during Cricket World Cup or last time yes. I was in Melbourne on a birthday. That's it. No, no other. It's just a great relationship between me and him. And uh, he's helping pharmacists. And I'm very, very highly appreciative for his work, his honest work to all pharmacist community and medical community. Same, same, same. I will say, uh, uh, Zahir Bhai is doing this job, I mean, helping all the pharmacies and putting all his effort, I think no one will do it. And because uh, from he's a busy man also, uh, he's running his business, he's doing all this. And then I'm probably say, I, I, if I me, I would, it would be very hard for me to give all this time, to be honest, uh, as a, you know, yes. and helping all the pharmacies. Yes, a request from him, please, please. <laughs> Give me 10 minutes. Give I, I actually uh, I actually snatch his time. I was saying just come for 10 minutes. Now it's, I think we are do, doing like 40 minutes so far. Thank you very much. And no, no. during Cricket World Cup time, uh, I'm really privileged to uh, talk to some very high professionals, sporting professionals, connecting directly to Zahir Bai during those sporting events. And uh, he helped a lot of sports people during Cricket World Cup as well. This is all private, but I'm just telling you uh, his knowledge and his availability for me is always there. So if you contact him with my reference, he will respond to you. And uh, yes, so 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 I even care, uh, during Cricket World Cup time, I was sitting somewhere midnight somewhere. So I called him around 12 or one o'clock in the night and he replied me that, yes, yes, we can meet or we can do this and that. So amazing, amazing help from him. Um, uh, 
But for me, there's this question. Uh, somebody asked me for there was a visa was refused and asking for refund from the Department of Immigration. Oh, okay, I mean, that's your your area, sir. Are you um, uh, I probably there's uh, I think it's Sarah. I think she's asking for the question for refundable. I mean, Sarah, you can apply. You can apply. I mean, you you. I mean, nothing wrong to apply. You can apply request department. Depend of the situation, uh, how you got the visa refused or someone got refused, and sometimes department can defend the uh, visa application charge. It depend of the condition or depend of the circumstances of the refusal. But it's not 100%. I mean, most cases you don't get refund because it's already said when you apply for visa, it's already said and non-defendable. But hmm. some there's nothing wrong to apply. Just try. Uh, Zibai, one more question. Uh, saying that we have a family of five and I don't have experience. I'm applying CAPS or whatever pathway and I want to know which one is better to apply. Is it 491 or 190? Well, 491 is uh, it's well, 190 is, is the best because it's a premium resident visa and if you have a family as well. Uh, but of course, if you still get 491 and it's still it's good visa because um, you don't have to score higher. I mean, you can, uh, because you will get extra 15 points from the state as well. So don't forget, I mean, I mean, you still get permanent resident, like a temporary permanent resident five years visa and your medical is free and your children can also free in schooling as well. So it's not much different with 190. I mean, I know 190 is a peace of mind is a permanent resident. But 491 is, of course, five years, then three years after you have to apply for uh, 191, which is a new visa. It will be a 191 visa, and you will be permanent resident. And once you're here in Australia for 491, I don't think so be any refusal chance for in future, as long as you're working in, in your field for three years and you have, or in any 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 field. I mean, when you come when you come to Australia 491. You have to work here, uh, and then you just have be. You can be work any job. You're not you don't have to be pharmacist. Okay. So, are you in favor of saying that four nine one is better to choose as compared to? No, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying for. I'm, as I said, one nine zero is the best visa. It's a permanent visa. But if somebody willing to just leave or Pakistan or any other country or want to move abroad, I mean, if you get four ninety one. Um, it's still, I said, it's good visa. I mean, if you want to get out from the country and you just want to settle, you still can settle same as 190. Okay, sure. Okay, uh, a person uh, by the name Ubed saying that should I uh, follow getting PR after CAPS qualified or known prior experience? Which path should I follow for getting PR after CAPS qualified and nor prior experience? Uh, well, as I said, number one, once you're passing exam, don't forget, as I said, you have to go through the point system. If you apply for 190 or 491, for example, without uh, employer. So we need to know your points, your age, qualification, experience, okay. If you don't have experience point, then of course, but you need to meet a minimum 65 points before you can apply for like a, any state, wherever if it's Western Australia, where there's no experience required, but you still need to achieve your points as well. Okay. So as I said, you need to have, for example, if you have 60 points, example, and this Western Australia, is giving you without experience. So of course, Western Australia uh, will give you 491, 15 points. For 190, it'll give you five points. So you have to meet the minimum point requirement is 65 as well, regardless of any state. Okay, no, thank you very much. Um, can we apply for 491 and 190 both in our EOI? Yes, you can apply both, or you can apply for any state. Yes, you can apply for both, 491. It's most cases when you apply for 190 or 491, sometimes for 190, if, if the quota or, or say invitation rounds are not coming quickly, so sometimes 
491 invitation will come up. So then it's up to you, either you want to take it 491 or you just want to let it go and wait for 191. So it's all up to you. Okay. Uh, a comment for you, sir. Uh, uh, very informative, sir. You are explaining it so well. Uh, does any uh, uh, does having higher mean higher chances of invite? Does having higher mean higher chances of invite? I don't get that point. Uh, I'll go for the next question. So grateful to be part of this community, sir. Can you guide about process of one nine zero immigration? You we already discussed that. Um, one of my friend is already discussed. Uh, does we require any attestation for our degree? No, you already explained that. No, no need for attestation. Does having higher aggregate marks mean higher, higher numbers? If someone got a higher percentage in their pharmacy degree, does it make in chances are higher? I don't think so. Uh, they just need a degree, I think. Yes. Even the CAPS doesn't see the higher no. GP. So uh, all, all the degrees are uh, degree level, uh, 15 points. Unless if you are a PhD, then you can get 20 points. Okay. okay very for good. for qualification, uh, I will say for my all these people who are listening to me, uh, you can gain extra five points if somebody want to do a natty. Okay. okay. So if it is good, I mean I know it's hard, but you can do it even online. I think so. You can do it online. It's natty test if you want to do it. Anyone want to do it to gain extra five points because a lot of onshore, all the onshore students they always go for natty here in Australia. So they just get quickly do the natty two weeks, two weeks, uh, uh, some course or something, and they sit in a small exam. And once they pass, they can get uh, five points for natty for English and Urdu. And how much it costs, sir? How much it costs this course? Um, it's it's it's. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a private business. People are using it. I mean, mm -hmm. um, in probably. Australia, I think usually about probably say seven eight hundred dollars. But you need to attend the classes here. But you can do it online as well. I think. Okay. So what languages that you think that, which is commonly done by overseas people to do this naughty and get point, which is the most common? Well, any, 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 all the languages Pashtun are- or, 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 or Dari or Punjabi. You can do Dari, you can do Dari, you can do Punjabi, you can do Hindi, you can do Urdu as well. You can Urdu. And all these uh, uh, points are available. Languages from languages. Africa? Lang Africa, languages from the Africa, Africa from China, Asia, and all countries. Lang most of countries' languages are available in Nati to get okay, so extra five one, points. One person can do one language course and get extra five points. Well, uh, as long as, as long as he can speak five language, <laughs> <laughs> only one one can, one can use. Yeah, you can yes. get five points for one. Of course, yes. All right, okay, that's very good. Thank you for <laughs> updating. This is amazing information. I'm think uh, I haven't come across such a value before uh, in our seminars this is amazing a question is that education policy for your kids if you come on 49 visa as a visa holder is it free or is it paid <laughs> well all the school as i said explained to you all the schooling in australia for 491 it's it's free i mean it's free means it's a local cost whatever we cost for locals local for, for us for us australian it will be the same for schooling in a public school, okay. not private schools. Okay. And uh, yes, once once you pass this, like your kids uh, at 12, want to go to uni, of course, it's different. It will be different. They will be treated as international. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, 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 not international. Well, if, by the time there'll be PR as well. <laughs> oh, yes. By the time PR. Yes. <laughs> there'll be PR. <laughs> okay. Uh, a question is asked that if I have seven plus year experience in community pharmacy, but my salary did not come into my account, I was getting cash in hand, will my experience consider? Well, it's a and question also, for better says or it's a question for immigration? Yes, that's very important. Like, uh, I think she's saying about the community pharmacy. So it looks like community pharmacy means no. she may be looking for caps or maybe for pharmacy technician. That could well, be. If you can clear that one, Ikra Mubin, then it would be good to know. Uh, um, to as I said, I mean, if you apply for caps, I mean, CAP doesn't require your pay slip. Yeah. But if you if you apply, once you get the CAP and you apply for uh, any permanent visa, I say four ninety one and four and one nine zero, then when you claim me a wherever you claim me an experience point to support your experience point, you need to show either your pay slip, you need to show your bank statement, 
an employer letter shows um, your whatever you earn it. Sometimes you need to prove your uh, your claim that you for experience claim either pay slip or bank statement. Some places, if you get, as I said, you get cash, you can get a cash voucher from the employer if available. If not, there are some other way we can, we can I can be explained later. Okay. Um, can be done, can be done. Zahibai, you've mentioned about the languages. So someone asked me a very simple question that Nati, will, will it be available for those who do the course for Urdu language? Yes, it is available. Yes, the answer is yes. So if you speak Pashto, if you are confident, do Nati course and get points. If you are confident in Urdu, do it. Yes. Uh, what about English, sir? Which extra? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's to English to other language. Okay, English, and leaving <laughs> English aside in any other language is it's valid for Nati course. So that's yes, how we can yes, say that. Yes. And that's yes. amazing. That's, so you can spend for, for, dollars. For, for, and... for English, it's PT or IELTS. <laughs> I, I, that's right okay is education and medical free for family visas that's a question from our member Kurat. medical is uh, free is you mean uh, for one 491 and 190 for skill migration visa yes you will be getting a medicare okay okay which uh, which allow you to use the medicare card to go to doctor at the moment if, if they are bulk bill free of charge if you go to hospital, yes. If you have a Medicare card, yes. You can yeah. utilize your medical. So you have created a new topic for, for our members, pharmacist members about NATI. So they are asking that how long this NATI will be valid if you do it now? Um, NATI, uh, let me check. Do you want me to just check or I just guess? No, no, I can't we, remember. Don't it's... spend time. We can, we can repeat Okay. This. Because I, I, I've, I've got a lot, lot of nineties, a lot of nineties for my client, but I, I exactly, I don't know yet. That's I fine. can't keep remember. Uh, keep probably it. at least valid for a couple of years. That's fine. That's fine. Um, again, sir, um, uh, appreciation for you. So grateful to be part of your community and uh, and uh, 190 onshore, the imagination. Uh, Okay, education, medical for kids. If anyone has a visa rejection, and you have a lot of questions coming again. If, uh, sir, federal state have cut all state by visa by 70% in their new point system, 70%. We already discussed that. I think if you watch oh, this okay. seminar again from the start, you will get to know what he, what Zahir Bahir explained and is not valid not really valid for pharmacists and health professionals. All right, okay, so that's the answer from him. I have two years experience, I can't get points. Should I should I mention this in experience, my application? I think this is yeah, already- We answered this one. Okay. This uh, there's a one question from me, there's a one, somebody asked uh, PhD, uh, if yes, someone- PhD. Yeah. PhD and MPhil, there are two questions related to that, yes. Visa and points for Can get a job in teaching department. Is that the one? Yes, please uh, answer it, that. For question. if somebody have PhD in pharmacy and already teaching uh, in in their country as a university lecturer, they can apply for a uh, university lecturer occupation as well, rather than pharmacist or pharmacy technician or other. So they can apply for uni university lecturer and they can get a job in Australia if they come to Australia either on 491 or 190. You can, yes, you can apply for a uh, university lecturer. Okay. Uh, there's a discount asked by someone saying that I'm a student. Can you ask Zahir Bhai to do a discount for us? <laughs> All right, no problem. I can look, I do you look, I do look, him <laughs> I, well, most of my clients, I do look after everyone. So you can talk to me later, no problem. Okay. That's so nice. Uh, uh, there is a question here in the YouTube that uh, please guide me. Um, uh, I'm applying for 190 visa as an overseas after passing CAFs and with my kid as a single mom. Is it easy to get visa with my daughter? How old is your daughter? I don't know. Maybe a kid. I don't know. She's a single oh. mom. So looks single like mom. Me. Well, I mean, she can apply. Uh, if she applying for any okay. skill visa, she okay. can she can bring her child. Of course, she can bring the child. 
as long as are they are dependent of the mom and and I don't know their circumstances. I mean, they have a legal right to bring the child in Australia. Yes, legal right. Okay. So okay. they have to have a legal right to bring the Australia uh, the child. Yep. Uh, the question is saying that the question is asked saying that we have not provided our experience to CAPS, but should we show it to the visa processing people at the time of visa launch? Second, uh, I think. Question is that. Uh, they we have not provided experience their work experience in caps registration or caps assessment should we show it to for visa processing should we show it yeah. to the visa processing? Uh, yes you can do that because when you apply for eui yes you can mention in your eui your experience you can do that okay you can do that okay okay i think that's very nice um i think we have covered all the questions um, will allow maybe two or three people um, if uh, if you have something which we have not covered, if you think that you have a question, maybe write the question and I can ask with uh, Zahir Bhai. Uh, otherwise, I think we have covered most of the topics, uh, uh, most of the topics uh, regarding this reduction of visas. If you're still not sure what Zahir Bhai explained, maybe go and watch this webinar from start, but I will uh, ask Zahir Bhai to just say a few words about this uh, question again that, uh, sir, visa amount will reduce in 2024 to 2025 for pharmacists who have passed the caps and applying for 190 and 491. Next year, ki. can you predict the future? Um, I explained that explain kiya tha ke abhi bhi, uh, Australia, mein, especially regional, mein, fa health sector, ke se, abhi bhi shortage hai, which include pharmacies. So another five years forecast, we still need a lot of pharmacies and a lot of health workers, especially in regional area. Jo, ye jo abhi, jo, jo bhi abhi ki, uh, jo reduce kiya hai, is this sub is some uh, short time ke liye hai. Or ho sakta hai next year mein, depend karta hai ki wo increase bhi kar sakte hain agar abhi se example 2003 2004 24 ka jo caps unhone kaha hai reduce kiya hai lekin zaruri nahi hai uh, it can be changed bhi ho sakta hai kyunki policy can change any time it can be amended as well yes thank you uh, any difference as a single applying or as a spouse any difference in uh, in uh, if you apply the single visa or the spouse visa acceptance ratio, what is the difference? On the cost, I mean, uh, of cost course, if you, if cost wise, I mean, if you're applying for a single visa, I mean, it will be uh, reduced cost. I mean, reduced cost in a way you will save your spouse visa application charge only. But if you apply with, but then, but then it will cost you more money, not including your spouse. Okay. So you will saving a couple of thousand dollars now, but when you get permanent residence example, you want to apply for your wife to bring it to Australia, you will cost you a lot of money. To, you, then you can apply a partner visa, which is cost you nearly $9,000 for the partner visa application fees. Okay. So I will suggest if somebody married, they will include their wife no. now, they okay. can bring it later. She don't have to come to Australia okay. straight away. She can come within a year. Okay. So, but you will save a lot of money in future. Okay. Okay. Uh, same person is saying that what are the chances for rejection or acceptance for a spouse visa? It's no. It's it's it's, it's you applying as a skilled migration visa is nothing to do a rejection for a spouse because because it's based on you as a main applicant. You what you provided as a as point tested visas i mean your spouse only can be refused uh, on the basis of medical if somebody have a medical condition say example uh allah na kare ke kisi ki spouse koi medical condition hai yes on the basis of that it can be visa refused for whole family yes yes that's a medical condition mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. agar wo chronic disease hai allah na kare mm -hmm. chronic disease hai wo pick kar lete hain department then yes it can refuse for all of them, not only just for this part. I, I have one pharmacist where this happened, where a disease was yes. reason behind yes. PR was declined. 
Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so there is similar question asked by two people, same. How to claim experience point? What are the format? What sort of document require when you claiming experience point, like to showing the salary slip or showing the salary record or showing the experience? Uh, any any advice on that? Well, there's a, there are basic, I mean, form, uh, I mean, evidence you need to provide. Number one is pay slip. Uh, secondly, bank statement where your salary goes into bank to prove match your salary and bank statement. And thirdly, if you do your tax return in Pakistan or any other country, that tax doc document is also is evidence of uh, your income. And work experience letter, of course, or letter from the employer, how much he earning. Offer letter, sometimes it's an offer letter. It shows your income when you apply for, you're getting a job, and then you will get an offer letter. It'll show you what you'll be earning. So something like that. So all these three, four things, basically bank statement, uh, offer letter, income tax return, they are evidence of your experience. Okay, thank you. Nazir Rafiq, that was your question. Again, you have a question saying that, uh, CAPS pass candidate need to get pro opera provisional registration that probably expire in 12 months. Uh, do we or we need to submit a EOI, which is step we do we need to do first? Either provisional um, for opera or either for EOI first. Maybe that's the question. Once you pass CAP, I mean, you can straight away apply for EUI. If you are in overseas, you can apply for EUI. Of course, the EUI is the first step applying for a, for a skilled migration visa, 491 and 190, and some occupation up to 189 as well. So pharmacy doesn't come 189, so, so 190 and 491. So yes, uh, EUI is the next step after passing the CAP exam. Okay. Uh, Zeba, if you have your business card or maybe your contact or visa migration email, if you'd like to share in the chat box, otherwise I will share that with them as well in case if somebody want to talk to you uh, sure. for your services. Sure. Uh, sure. And uh, uh, there's one um, question regarding uh, um, late uh, a, a doctor friend, a medical doctor friend is, uh, is just joined here and is he saying that uh, has it been asked about the visa acceptance rate for going for Australia for AMC part two as a 25 year old and currently not working as a doctor? Uh, this is question from Dr. Fateh Mohammed. He just joined. Okay. Have they passed both exam? Probably, yes. That's why he's oh. asking part two. So, he's, so if he passed the both exam part one and part two, and uh, you can apply for immigration, of course, uh, but then again, I'll probably say again, points is, a, is any skill migration visa is a point visas. So mm -hmm. you, have to, you, have, you have to achieve minimum 65 points. Uh, but usually for my understanding, many uh, doctors, when they apply for part one, they usually have to require a clinical experience, supervisor experience in Australia. In Australia, while uh, after passing a part one exam, and then they have to pass second exam while most of the time in 99% they're in Australia. Okay. Dr. Fatih, do part he, he just passed the one, part one, not part oh, part two. one, he yes. Part, go to Australia yeah. for part two. Yes, part one is only allow you to somebody to sponsor you only at this stage. You cannot yeah, apply for right. skilled migration visa. Yep, yep. So if you, if you find an employer, you can come here for four years, 482 visa. And then you can prepare for part two exam while you're here. So Zaid, by how he can find an employer, can you suggest any tips on on a doctor's point of view, like AMC part one passing? Because we are trying to get AMC part one exam center to be open soon in Pakistan as well, same way how we did for CAPS exam center. So there will be a lot of doctors want this answer. Um, well, it is it is hard to find an employer, of course, but but there are a lot of uh, uh, medical practices uh, in regional Australia, they are yeah. looking for, always always looking for part okay. Okay. people who pa pass a part one exam. So best to search engine and- okay. And uh, what visa, colleagues. what visa option for them for AMC yes. part for four years, what you just said? Uh, 482 temporary uh, work visa, they can get up to, up to four years work visa. 482, okay. 482. 482 from the regional employers. Okay, that's very any good. Thank you. Regional or anywhere, 482, but usually the uh, doctor's guys into the regional area. 
That's very nice. Thank you uh, for this uh, answer. I think uh, there's a question by Mr. I'm just saying that if you are married and coming to a sing coming single to Australia, but include your kids and wife in your visa for future, will you have to pay fee for them later? Is that right? I think they have to pay the fee. Yes, yes. If if you if you already applied for visa and you haven't include your wife and children, and when when you grant the visa and would you you when you want to bring your uh, wife and kids of course you have to pay fees for that which is called subsequent visa okay and depend on the visa class of course i mean we don't know uh, what visa they are coming here any visa i mean say example of course they have to pay for kids and children if they want to bring it here okay uh Lynette, i think she is from english speaking background country i don't know which country but she's saying that my education and my all experience is in English. Do I still need to do PTE? PTE, well, immigration, test. yes, English point of view uh, for, for sorry, skilled migration, for English, uh, sorry, skilled migration, you will require uh, English uh, exam, either PTE or IELTS, to gain 10 points, uh, 10 points. But if you are from, if your passport from uh, UK, Australia, Canada, Ireland, you don't need to do an English test, but okay. your uh, score will be treated as a zero. Okay. So your your score will be zero for the points testing. Okay. So 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 it depends. I mean, if they if they required a point, well, they still need to do a IELTS or PT, whatever exam for for gaining a point. So, Lynette, can I ask which country you from? You said you have been trained in an English-speaking country, and uh, you're asking this question. So, it will be highly uh, appreciated if you say that. And you ask another question about health conditions. That what health conditions like hypertension, asthma, would they be uh, rejected as a chronic condition? Asthma, I don't think so. Hypertension. No, asthma. Uh, asthma is not a chronic disease. And uh, I don't in terms of uh, high immigration yeah. people, they, they uh, she's she's from Zimbabwe. Yes, I've done so many Zimbabwe clients. Oh, yes. I've got so many Zimbabwe people, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm doing at the moment. I've got I'm doing a lot of Zimbabwe at the moment. Oh, my God. So yes, yes. So, and most of them are yes. pharmacists. I think uh, are the pharmacists. Most of pharmacy, ninety yes, percent pharmacists. My God. Okay. So yes, uh, you should have an office in Zimbabwe, sir. You need to have an office in Harare. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, like Harare calendar, got, like Lahore, got... <laughs> like Lahore, Lahore calendar has bought a, a new franchisee called Harare calendar. Harare, yeah. Playing in South good. Africa, so you need to have an office in Harare. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely. I need to. I need one. Uh, yes, for Lenet, yes. Uh, for your passport, Zimbabwean passport, you will need uh, English test pass. Yes, that's required for your passport. Okay. It's good. Uh, uh, someone is afraid now, asking that, sir, tell me the list of health conditions which are affecting the immigration process. <laughs> well, health condition, as I said, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it has to be a very chronic disease. I mean, Alana Kare, uh, it's like uh, somebody has a cancer or they usually treat as a uh, uh, TB is, is a chronic disease. TB. TB. So... Yeah, we'll call it, yeah. So other than yeah, so if it's like ashtama and things like that, yes. Okay. It's, so it's, you have an offer. Just, you have an offer from Zimbabwe to have an office. She's saying, come to. Oh, Zimbabwe. really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'll be, a, I'll be busy. I will world, be busy in Harare then. Uh, so you need to have an office in uh, uh, in in Africa, in Zimbabwe. People will love you because pharmacists yeah, knows yeah. you. A lot of pharmacists have been uh, privileged to have a service from you, and they're so happy. You yes. know that uh, pharmacist who went to Queensland last year. Her name was uh, I think Andrew. Uh, if you remember, you did the visa for him. For yes, yeah, Andrew. Job. Andrew, I did that. Uh, yes. And his wife has also got a job. Yes. Uh, that yes. was a bonus. So one visa, two jobs. That's amazing. And yeah, he a very nice glass. Uh, uh, like a like an award for me with my photo on it and oh, say nice words to be in post. So uh, I will see him maybe in in a conference maybe next year in Gold Coast. Oh, that's, that's good. Uh, that's that's nice. good. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just that's telling good. because we're talking about the Zimbabwean um, uh, pharmacist uh, doing so many visas from from you. That's amazing. To be honest, uh, I found I have a lot of clients from all around the world. 
Yes. And I love, and especially I love Zimbabwean people as well, to be honest. And I mean, all my, uh, from even from Pakistan, no problem. They're all good. Our country people, any country people, they're all good in any country. I have no problem. But Zimbabwean people are found, to be honest, very, very gentle people. Oh, yes. Very gentle. Very and I'm nice. doing I'm doing a lot of visas and they're very gentle, good and everything. Even now, um, any country, I'm, I'm not saying any discrimination for any country, but Zimbabwean are found best. Yes. Three. Three Zimbabwean uh, pharmacists worked with me in last 12 months. Amazing. Um, they're all very nice people. Uh, and uh, many of them connected through me. With I, I, You know, I have a group of 70 Zimbabwean pharmacists. Oh. If somebody don't know, mm -hmm. I have a special group of pharmacists who are just from Zimbabwe. Like I have so many groups for uh, Pakistani and Indian and uh, Middle Eastern, but I have one specific group just for Zimbabwe. And and because of my teaching, uh, there are a lot of Zimbabwean pharmacist students who are studying in China, who are studying in Russia. Uh, they contacted me through some YouTube and they asked me that how they can apply for CAPS. So I actually guided them how to get their up uh, CAPS assessment. Uh, so they have successfully managed the CAPS assessment uh, through my guidance and they're doing, they're still in Russia and in, Zimbabwe, in China, but they're doing the CAPS over there at the moment. Uh, okay. preparing a caps over there but they would need a visa very maybe uh we'll do a special session for uh maybe for them but i invited everyone in this session thank you Zabe, for coming uh again there's a question about if someone's spouse has done phd can he get a job in a teaching department i think you have already checked their answer you've already answered that yeah okay i think uh we have covered uh, most of the topic um um uh, the doctor question was uh, about a friend asked me that if they want to give AMC part one in Australia, which visa subclass should they apply? Uh, 490 simple or also attending a medical conference. Uh, I can't remember exact type. Um, oh, if you're coming for short term visa, they have to apply for uh, tourist visa 600. Uh, either uh, business tourist visa, if they have an invitation from the business. They can come here on a tourist visa, business tourist visa, if you're coming for conference. Hmm. All right. Now, thank you very much, Zaybay, for your valuable time. Uh, oh, I would like to appreciate your time, your your See, energy uh, on, the, on this thank topic. You, so you were you were on a very high pitch during this whole one hour session. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, um, we have a recording saved on our channel, the YouTube channel. Anyone can refer that again. Um, and uh, uh, we have answered most of the question and the beautiful point that we picked up is that Nati, which can give five extra points and also uh, that validity of English test is three years. That's very, very, very highly uh, unknown uh, knowledge for everyone. They all think that two years, they have to do it again. Uh, and also this uh, uh, visa, those visas dropped. Uh, there was a huge chat going on everywhere that should we go for caps or not? Should we invest our money? Should we invest our time? But uh, health professional, because Australia got an aging population where they need health professional, allied health people, allied health. Even I know, came to know recently that uh, NDIS, which is a new developing profession for providing uh, disabled health uh, related matters to be like aged care, uh, people can get permanent resident pathway or visa pathway if they are here in Australia they can uh, go and work under NDIS company in regional areas and I think their skills requirement is no required and the English test is also very minimum so that's something which uh, uh, um, which is very encouraging for those health related uh, profession and uh, if anyone from nursing background they can do the nursing test even with uh, I know that doctors can do AMC exam at the moment. The nearest the exam center is in Thailand. Uh, hopefully, we'll have one exam center in Pakistan for doctors. Uh, some someone asked that last question is that does my aunt qualify me for sponsor family stream six hundred visa? So that's a doctor asking that can my aunt qualify me for a sponsor family six hundred visa? Yes, uh, six hundred visa is. Uh... It's a tourist visa. Um, your auntie can sponsor you for a tourist visa. Yes, can. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, any last comments, anybody? Would you like to say anything, sir, for this audience? Uh, uh, I really thanks uh, again, again to invite uh, me on this session, and um, I'm I'm pretty happy if I have provided provided some information to to pharmacists, and and I have given all my uh, whatever knowledge I for the small session at this stage. I mean whatever I knew for the short time, but if uh, someone wants to ask me so they are happy to ask me. Ziba, you can share okay. your uh, card here if you want to in chat, but otherwise I have already shared your knowledge, uh, share Chik, your Chik, details uh, in, in okay. our group. Uh, they will contact you as well. All right, I will uh, just paste my maybe uh, uh, my WhatsApp number. Yes, yes, and email yes. address, and then they can sure. they can contact me. I can write it down here. And if anyone has any question, they can ask me later. And uh, Zaybay, how long you are in Australia? Can you please uh, inform everyone that how, <coughs> yeah, how many uh, uh, months or years you have been spending? Oh, I have been in Australia for over thirty three years, okay. and all I've got all my brother, sisters, my parents, and my kids all born in Australia oh my God. and uh, just a small introduction I have five daughters okay. one becoming a lawyer all right and uh, one is uh, in uh, psychology criminology and another right. doing another doing a, a light health like a physiotherapy and uh, speech, no pharmacist speech, in your home no speech pathology speech pathology okay. they're all doing all right Okay, that's very nice. Very happy so, to yeah, so know been about here your family. Been here a long time in Australia. Australia is a good, great country, actually. Very friendly, not racist. What do you think? No, no. For so many years. <laughs> uh, uh, I haven't had any problem in, uh, in many years. Uh, it's a good country to raise your kids. We have an old Islamic uh, mahal here as well. I mean, where I live, in, especially in Dandenong in Victoria, all they see my whole year. Oh wow! Yes, <laughs> and it looks like a Punjab. <laughs> it's like a Punjab. You know, okay. you can eat, you can find any all the cuisines, and yes. uh, ah, it's pretty. It's great here. Yes. Uh, apne matlab ye ke future ke hawale se bachon ke is is good place. Uh, I will say I never been to uh, UK yet, but um, Australia. I will say that it's good. Okay, it's good. It's good country to raise your kids. Thank you for sharing this. Uh, okay, may I have your number? Dalton for one three six one double eight nine. This is my WhatsApp number, and uh, you can email me at gmail dot com. Uh, I just uh, did. I kind of. I think I. I'm pasting in in chat. Is it? Yes, chat yes, put in the chat and I will share. Usme ja nahi raha usme. Um, can it kya nahi usme? Kya nahi aa You can just type in if you can copy paste maybe. Abhi mess mess. Chat me. I am putting in the chat. Okay. It doesn't allow me. Actually, I don't know why. Uh, I will, I will uh, share. Uh, yeah, you can share me because I'm, I'm trying to do it, but um, it right now. I'll write it somehow down. I can't. Maybe if somebody just uh, don't come in our Zoom. Like, mm. I don't know. So, uh, I'll be, okay. Can you share my uh, details if I may? Yes, yes, I'm just doing it right now. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's uh, six, one. And then four one three six eight five eight eight nine. So that's somehow, the what's up somehow is... for uh, uh, dear Zayi comes up. Uh, is that correct, Zayi? Uh, just check the number four one three six eight five eight eight nine. D. This is a correct so number. Uh, in the group, yep. is it, can everyone see that? Or oh. 
is a WhatsApp number. Um, yes, everyone got that. Yes, number. it is a WhatsApp number as well. And also, if you can share my email address, if yes, you want, that that's be easier. Sometimes email is better rather than uh, WhatsApp. Yes, yes. Email is, you can just... Global Word Live. Is you can right? put a G, easy one, GMS migration at gmail.com. Yes. GMS migration at yes. gmail.com. Yes. And if somebody has a problem, they can always uh, visit my website. If you can just type in GMS and it will should come up. So, what's the website for? Can I share? Uh, yeah, www.globalmove.com.au. Yep. Yep. globalboob.com dot .au. .au. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know somehow I can't put the information. Now I can, I think. Oh, yeah, now I can. Yes, it's all yes. done. All done now. I'll just share in my YouTube chat as well. So there are a lot of people watching from YouTube chat who don't have our um, direct uh, Zoom link. Or can see what you want to ask me about all the information up to date. Thank you. Uh, we, um, uh, this weekend, the uh, weekend is going to be in the weekend. Pakistan ke High Commissioner Saab had led away. Uh, there were four meetings chance we met with him and talked to him. And uh, we discussed thoroughly about uh, opportunities for business, opportunities for this workforce that is a huge workforce that can play a significant role uh, in Australia. And uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, age care or NDIS, which is a new area in Australia, uh, which is developing stages. New Dhani is a very yeah. old, like seven, eight years ago. Uh, this is something which uh, uh, developing. And uh, now pharmacies are actually going to connect with NDIS uh, to provide uh, a closer service platform. Uh, and there is a more scope of work coming in pharmacies. Pharmacists are now a uh, mandatory requirement in age care uh, since July 2023. Uh, so uh, whoever listening this conversation, uh, jobs hang or visas jo hain, wo isi way as a pharmacist is in priority because there is a need of age care uh, and also aging population where allied health is required. And pharmacists is one of the important member of that allied health team. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something which, and this can only achieve if you do these caps. Uh, I cannot say much about industry pathway or or technician pathway, but when you once you are registered in Australia as a pharmacist, your doors are always open uh, because uh, anything you need to do in this country, you need to have a license, you need to have a registration. Like immigration, you have to have a registration through that body. Uh, like plumber, they need to have their license. So similar way, doctors, pharmacists. So uh, our advice to encourage everyone to do this pathway if you want to live in Australia and have a better life for your family and your loved ones. And once you're here, you can attract more people in your family because it become a a attraction for their love but cousins go and go and guide yourself. So that's something that you can create a difference in if you take this first step. Well, isn't it? Uh, Jeb, when you come to Australia, I think after then you attract maybe your cousins or family members. Yes. This is, this is a very common practice. Why not? Thank you, Zaybay. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, we'll Thank finish you. the session now. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Islamic. Thank you, Malik Prasad.